So, so far I've unboxed the mini, uh, the regular mini, as well as the rose gold two mini. This one is the Twisby rose gold two in the 580. So this is a rose gold version two as well, but this one is quite a bit heftier than the other two. So I usually, my preference and most of my uh, fountain pens thus far are, what do you call, are pocket, pocket fountain pens. So we'll see how I like the feel of a full size one. So on this one, you can see they label it. It's the Diamond 580 Rose Gold 2. So this is the second edition of the Rose Gold that they released. Diamond 580 just means that this barrel is faceted. And then it unscrews. Now, unlike the Mini, this does not screw here. And it's not really meant to be posted either. You can post it, but it's not exactly comfortable that way. So I don't recommend posting this one. I would just use it like this. And at this weight, it's a very comfortable weight for me. I'd say at this length, it feels a lot like the mini without the, without the lid posted on it. So really pretty. But look at the size of this barrel. The amount of ink that this barrel can hold is phenomenal. So I would recommend putting in, since it's going to last so long, I would put in one of your favorite inks into this one. So like for me, that's Diamine Oxblood or Diamine uh, Writers. Those types of inks would be amazing in here. All right, let's see which one we want to put into this one today. So this one here is a stub nib. It's a 1.1. So I thought I'd be brave with it and put a shimmering ink in this one. This one is called Diamine Sh Oops. <laughs> this one is called Diamine Shimmering Seas. So I thought I would try that into this particular one. All right, so since it's a shimmer, I just kind of shake it a little bit in the bottle. Not enough to shake it onto the lid though. First thing I wanna make sure to do is make sure that my mechanism works real smoothly and that I'm familiar with it. Because like on this one, I notice it does not go all the way down. So this is as far as it goes and then it'll pull up. So I just wanna make sure I'm familiar with how far my mechanism goes have it set so that I'm just able to put my feed right into the ink. So I get a pretty good fill on the first round, but what I've been doing is still just considering that like a prime and then pull one more time. And you'll see I get an even better fill on that next round. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so with a little bit of back and forth, you can see I got a really good fill on this barrel. I did forget to weigh it empty, but I don't think it's going to affect the weight that much. So before we forget, let's go ahead and weigh it.
All right. So fully loaded with ink, it is at 28 grams. If I take the lid off, since I don't plan to write with it with the cap on, it is 18 grams. In ounces, that's 0.6 with the cap off. With the cap on, that is one fluid ounce. So with the cap on, at closed, it is five and a half inches tall. Without the cap, it is five inches tall. So in centimeters, that is about 13 centimeters with it off. Capped and closed, it's at 14. And if I were to do this posted, which I probably would not, that would be extremely long at 17 and a half centimeters and a crazy length of seven inches. So if I tried to hold this all in one, it would be extremely top heavy because this is completely off of my hand. So this is where they say it gets tricky sometimes. Try not to spin your this part. If you post it, you have to be careful not to twist this, which is why I guess they probably make it to where we don't post it. Because if you twist it, then your ink can bubble out. All right, let's do a test write. So it does. Debating, I don't think. So I'm going to do it on this bottom half here because I still have the broad nib that I'm going to be doing there. So what I really love about this stub nib is it really does emphasize and show the line variations very well. So I'm not as worried about it clogging with this shimmering ink from Diamine because this uh, nib is so wide. Now even though it's a square stub nib, it does still flow pretty well. It is not scratchy. It does glide nicely across the paper with the Diamine Shimmering Seas. Really a nice line variation you can get with the stub nib. I really like that. So yeah, this is not something I'd use for like writing a whole book, but maybe titles or captions, main points that I want to highlight while I'm taking notes. This ink sample is written on the Tomoya River paper where it really shows the gold shimmer as well as the blue ink. And then we have a close up of the Twisby 1.1 stub nib, where that square nib is really shown clearly. And they've upgraded this rose gold 2 plating so that it lasts longer and better. So this is how the 580 compares in height to the minis. It's about an inch taller um, than the mini version. Now this particular ink, the Diamine Shimmering Seas, reminds me of our trip to San Diego at Sunset Cliffs, we hit it right at sunset at that golden hour. And against the sea, you can really see how that gold sun reflects on the blue, just like this ink. So I thought these photos were a perfect match for it. playlist for all of my Fountain Pen Friday videos is listed below. If you enjoy videos like this, you can watch more that are posted on that link. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Twisbees as much as I do, and I'll see you next time.